welcome to the part two of whatever the hell I'm going to call this. Um, no, it's all about DVDs. As I see, I'm not sure. I've got, you know, two with a third offer, possibly, uh, on its way as well from another big name company um, to do DVDs. Uh, I will probably do another couple or so. Um, time will allow one. Whether I do any more to that, I'm not sure. The offer's always going to be open. There's never going to be a time when a company's not offering, asking me to do a DVD. That's not big enough, it's just the fact that I'm a good teacher. And these companies know that. Um, so, they obviously want a bit of the action. But, as I said, it doesn't always, you know, it's not always worth the hassle. Uh, now, a lot of other guys who do DVDs don't get some of the crap I get, but that's just the way it is. Um, I've learned to live with that. <coughs> I'm sure some people think if they give me a love for like harassment, I'm going to just disappear and go and go run and grind in the corner, which proves how well they know me. But um, I'm not going anywhere. But sometimes it can get annoying, right? Because I released two freebies a while back there, a week or two back on um, high frequency skin detailing and ZBrush. No, well, like 20 minutes or so. Just teaches you everything you want to know. Done professionally, same as I do my DVDs. Um, and there's about sort of five or ten sort of replies saying thank you which you'd think we'd normally be doing oh well that's bombed in hasn't it well you'd think so until you actually look at my logs the first 24 hours there was 1200 downloads and it's been like that every day since so lots of people have it right and it's obviously spreading through word of mouth uh, but a lot of the people who actually download my stuff either don't bother to say thank you or will take it, repackage it and put it, you know, as their own later on which is a fucking annoying um, but, you know, it was only meant as a freebie and basic test to see if the microphone was handled was still stand up after being used on Skype for six months um, which it obviously does um, so, I actually did a, uh, a critique of my own DVDs the last sort of week or two alright now I'm going to do what nobody else who's ever released a DVD has ever done. I'm going to give you a truthful critique of my own DVDs. Which makes you cut you off spite your face. Well, I don't actually, I haven't been paid this year from Curve, so, um, you know, I said I would say nothing as long as, you know, everybody helps the lapel day of the bargain. Now they have been sales, I haven't received the money, so I'm a bit pissed off. And where's we'll be getting on that before much longer. But anyway, uh, and there's no good I'm complaining about me putting it on here because, you know, there are such things as contracts. And the contract works both ways. For both the person, the contract, you know, you know, with the company itself, that's how it's a contract with you. And they have to hold to things from your side. It works both ways. But anyway, that's beside the point. Uh, so I'm not really too asked, to be honest, about uh, whether, you know, there's a load of sales there or not for Curve. Um, because I haven't seen a penny. But um, the first mud box disc holds it well. Which is surprising because my son was, um, he had a very serious milk allergy when he was three months old when I recorded this. And um, he, stop, he used to stop breathing during the night. And we never knew whether he was going to be awake the next morning. So we used to have to do it in shifts. You know, he didn't get any more than three hours sleep each uh, every night. And we were in a lot of stress and strain. So how the hell that turned out as well, I'll never know. I was just in the zone. And I had to, of course, do more radio presenter's voice for that because Kane was in the other bedroom. And he was sleeping. Um, and I also had to keep an ear out to make sure that he didn't stop breathing while I was down it. Um, he can't be everywhere at once, you know. Second one, I don't, I don't technically count that as one of mine because mine died in the middle of it, and I was never happy with it. Whether it, I know the information and it's good, but I, I can't even have it in the house, you know. So I don't even look at that one. The zebrish ones was a bit too eager on those ones. Uh, let me explain why. There'd been all the crap with Chris Logic about the um, the whole 2.5 thing and the argument with that, and the, you know I'd put a hole in my manners, and they got pissed off, and I got pissed off, and then eventually we all sort of like had nice big hugs and was happy again, right? But I thought, well, I've got to prove to these guys that I'm not going to do it again, and I've got to prove that I actually do believe in their program. Um, so I basically went a bit overboard and sounded too much like a salesman, um, and a bit too hyper. Um, also, there was the fact that the disc was requested to be put out at ESAP. Um, that was a, in, in hindsight that was a mistake for me it wasn't for Curve it was for me because my name on the bloody discs right? so that's, it was after the second disc and after they released actually it was after the first one was released I made a conscious decision 
that I will never put my name to any DVD again unless I am completely happy. I now reserve the right in any contract to pull a DVD at the last moment if I do not think it's high enough quality to put my name to. Um, so you won't see the Wayne the Salesman sort of voice again. You'll hear more of the um, relaxed sort of style, like, you know, the first mud box disc. Because that gets the, um, the information over easier, quicker, and um, it's like more relaxing. You know, I try to make it enjoyable to learn. Now, Jonathan, it's not supposed to be like watching an episode of Friends, but it's supposed to be mildly entertaining and keep you, your um, attention as much as it can. <sighs> Flies again. Um, so, I've, I keep trying to, you know, find new ways of doing that, but it's a difficult balance because when you're doing stuff like the intro to zebra, you know, things, you've got to cover a lot of boring shit. And no matter what you do, people are going to get bored. Uh, unless you cut up massive swathes of the program, like, I don't know if a few guys did that, but I didn't. I wanted to do the whole thing, not just the new bits, but from the ground up. Uh, that's what I did. And that's why that disc, you know, continues to sell well, even though I don't get any money for it anymore. And there's a giant bleeding bee over there. I hate bees, got a phobia of bees. But yeah, so, um, I am mildly concerned about how much stuff I have to do before the move. Uh, I've, as I say, I've got about six hours of footage I've got to troll through today. Now I'm going to do what I call, I'm going to do a gnome on, right? I'm going to start speeding shit up. Because if everybody else can do it, so can I. I'm the one person that never has. But as of now, it starts getting, you know, if something's, if there's a boring bit coming up and it's basically the same thing over and over again, uh, it'll get sped up. Simple as that. Uh, this book's going to have the full character in it. It's already been recorded ages back, but it's, I need to get that photos done today and over the next sort of seven days, get it all wound up and ready and sent to them. Because the book's due out at the end of this month. Uh, so I've got to get them ready, you know what I mean? They also want me to make a front end for this whole thing, so... I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure which route to go, to be honest. I really am not. Um, we'll see. How much time have we got? Oh, I've got a few minutes left. So, um, yeah, there's a good chance that uh, I might not be able to get any of these done when we start the move, which I imagine won't be for a week or two yet. Um, if I do, I'll probably be talking like that, really high pitched and stressed, right? So I do apologise two weeks in advance. It'll probably be incredibly hilarious for anybody else to watch, but um, the one thing I'll miss about here, this walk, I miss this walk, because it's private, it's re I very rarely bump into somebody when I'm walking around here, yeah you get cars going past occasionally on this part, of the, but the rest of it you don't, um, I'll miss that, Langley Park itself, no, drop a fucking H-bomb on it, <laughs> really, just drop a bomb on it, right? Um, so um, I'm not going to miss Langley Park itself. I'll just miss, miss the places, you know. Maybe one day uh, when I've got more time and I'm going to have to get myself driving again. Um, I like come back for a little walk around and stuff when Kane's a bit older and show him where Daddy used to go for his big long walk to keep seeing. We don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get going because I've got to finish this off and then on the way back I've got a load of crap to do, boring real life stuff like pay bills and stuff like that so um i will see you all next time uh, hopefully this one's been a bit interesting i hope it's not been sounded too negative but as i say i don't know whether i'll be after the next one or two whenever they you know they are i don't know whether i'll do any more or not depends really does maybe there's demand maybe there's not anyway see you next time bye bye